Today we are talking about cases. I have two brands that I really like. It's gonna be a really straight to the point video. I find some case videos kind of overwhelming. These are my two favorite cases and they're both geared to a little bit more kind of stylish, I guess you could say. Stylish and protection, drop protection, are the main things that I am kind of going for. So this is my iPhone 8, I got the gold. If you wanna see me unboxing it, I will link it below. I'll talk about the case I have on right now. This you can get on Amazon. It was around $10. It is the iPhone 8 Ultra Hybrid Phase 2, I'm guessing. Crystal clear. It has a little bit of a rubberish texture to it, which I really love because it makes it easier to grip. Fairly thick. I mean, it's not like super duper thin, but it's also not super duper thick. It does say it has a drop protection. Um, let me see. Air cushion technology. I don't know how accurate that is. I didn't do a lot of research on this one other than it was well rated on Amazon and it was fairly affordable. It has these little bump outs at the bottom here, um, which I don't really know what the purpose is. I guess if you lay it on the ground, it's a little bit more protected. The buttons press, press well. You can access the volume. Docker thingies really well. The bottom looks like this. I haven't had any trouble plugging in um, any cords. Well, there's only one cord, so I guess that makes sense why I would have no trouble with that. I'll also talk about the screen protector I got really quickly. This I also got on Amazon. It was just highly rated. Um, I've only had my phone for um, a week now, two weeks, and the screen protector has been, has been doing good so far. I actually really loved how this screen protector came to install. It had this little sticker thing. If you can see here, here are the directions. Installation was really easy and I appreciated that a lot because I feel like the number one thing with screen protectors is trying to get it lined up well. But it came with these little sticker guys. Let me see where they are. Good screen protector, comes with two, so you're able to, um, you know, screen protect multiple times. I appreciate how it came with two little wipey things, two little sticker things. I mean it's, oh, there's the little sticker guys. So you put these on the edge of it and you hold these instead of the screen protector and you're able to apply it really easily. The little dust sticker remover thingy. It came with two of everything so it wasn't like I had to, had to keep my dusty wipey. Okay, moving on to the next. This is actually what I'm most excited about. So this company, Chroma, I think it's called Chroma, um, is a sister company. They, it's the same people that make the Rhino crash guards. So Rhino Shield, they created another company which uses the exact same bumpers and cases and whatnot and they make kind of more fancy designs. So you're getting the same protection of the Rhino crash guard which is an 11 foot drop um, protection. This is my old phone by the way. Guys, look, I went from the big one to the little one. This has a little honeycomb technology that protects it from kind of cracking and breaking and whatnot. So I really like these cases. I've used them for a really long time. So Rhino Shield sent me these ones, which is their new company. Basically what you do is you get the bumper, which in here I chose the white. They have a couple colors, black, white, and one other one. I think. I don't I don't fully remember, but I think they have two or three bumper colors, which is bumper is just like this guy. Really nice. And then they have these new backs that you clip onto the bumper and it protects the back of the phone as well, which the new iPhones have glass backs, so they're really uh, fragile. I've been enjoying how this looks, just really sleek and clean. Um, happy with that and now we're gonna try these Chroma ones and, and see what we think. So I love the packaging and basically how you do it is you get your bumper and then you can buy as many switch out backs as you want. So what they advertise is very interchangeable, um, customizable designs so that you can kind of have fun if you like the design aspect of phone cases and whatnot. Some key features are it's food grade and I, I liked how they actually advertised this on the website. They had like a baby bite in on the phone, which I don't have any kids, but I think is very realistic. Uh, I always see babies just grabbing their parents' phone and kind of like gnawing on them. Or just like, you know, they lick them or something. So food grade, ultra thin, absorbent, over 11 feet. Um, which is which is that technology snug fit 100% recyclable and 100% BPA blah 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 free iPhone 8 on its own I just love how they the glass back looks I think it looks so fancy 
Guys, look at this wallpaper. This is, that's me and my sister took the photo. This is our alleyway. Our new storefront juice shop is right there. So we're excited. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check it out. I have a juice business and we're opening a, we're opening our first storefront. We're going from food truck to storefront, which is so exciting. So the first one I got was just the clear option. Cause I like clear. Curious to know the texture of this. Does it feel plasticky or does it have a little bit of a grip? Oh yes, wonderful. Okay, it doesn't feel like straight up plastic. Um, actually, and it has more of a grip than the first case. This one is a little bit more, I would say like retro. Um, I like these colors a lot. They're very, I don't know, I just like them. They're fun. Cute. Yep, still grippy. Good, good, good. So this design, it kind of feels like a sticker, but it is on the inside of the phone, not on the outside. So when I go like this, I feel nothing. That part of the phone, there should be no problems with peeling, but look how cute that looks. I like it. And the last one I got kind of has a little, it's very minimal. Take the plastic off. Very skinny waves. And again, um, I can kind of feel the, I can feel the print, but it is on the inside, not on the outside. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, very different, very fun. Ooh, I might put that one on right now. I like that. Which one do you guys like more? Comment below. Do you like, do you like the waves? Or do you like the, I don't even know what to call this. Let's call it the retro one. Or do you like the retro one? Man, I don't know. I think I like the waves, guys. Comment below which one you like the most. The clear looks like that as well. Nice and clear. So there are the three that I picked out. They have lots of designs though. And I like that they have some minimal ones. And then they have some floral and, and definitely a good variety. And I would also say they're d designs that I wasn't expecting. They're kind of unique and different and not what you would typically find out there as far as iPhone design cases. So let's actually put one on. Let's follow the directions. All right, the directions say to first put in the side that has the on off switch. So I'm gonna do that. And then it says to secure the other side. Just like that. Well, that was easy enough. Buttons feel really good. I like how the buttons feel. They're very clicky, you know? They don't feel like I'm um, it doesn't feel like there's a cushion to click. It feels very solid and clicky. Okay, if you guys can see like the gappiness right there, that is where the back plate clicks on. So the, the what is this called? The frame is not to be worn alone. This is a whole kit. So, I mean, I know it's your phone. You can do what you want. I guess you could like use the frame only, but it's made to be worn together. So if you see the gappiness, it's not a, it's not a loose fit. Everything is feels very tight and secure. It's just where these click in. So you choose your case, you do the top first. The top, you kind of just like wiggle it in. It kind of slides and clicks in. I'll show you when I remove this and do the other one. And then you just click down the rest. Just like that. We've got a little brandy thingy right there, which I don't mind. It's not obvious. Going around. Other side, looks good. No, I don't know what that is for. And now we're gonna remove it and put another plate on. So it says changing slash removing your chroma case. Um, it says you start on the side with the on off switch, you pull it out and you pull, all right, I got it removed. It was very easy to do. I'm gonna put this one on and show you guys how to install it and then I'll show you how to remove it again. Basically, there's these little ledges and, the, and they kind of fit where that is. I pretty much just like snapped both sides in and then you can just snap the rest. Ooh, I like how that one looks. I actually might leave that one on. So I'll show you guys how to remove you start on the on off switch side. It looks like every time you remove and you install, you start on this side. So you pull this out like that and you just kind of get your, 
just like that. <laughs> you just kind of get your nail under under there, and it, it's easy to do, and you just kind of pop, and it pops out. So I'll show you guys one more time how to install. You start at the top, and you slide it in, and you make sure it's all snug up there, and then you can just remove, go down the sides and click it in. It would be nice if it, they had a clear bumper. Um, I think I like how the clear bumpy edge looked. I don't know if they can make that, but I think it would look cool if it was like clear, clear, and then you had your color. I think it's fun that you can, you have your bumper essentially. It's actually called the frame is what they call it. And then you're able to kind of get different backs and whatnot. And the backs are, are fairly affordable. So it's cool to, it's cool to play interchangeably and, and have fun with it. So anyways, hope you guys like this. I'll see y'all in my next video. I do plan on doing a app. What's on my phone app edition to show you all the apps I use. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.